good morning guys this has been a day that I've been waiting for for a long while big steps in the lockdown so we've been able to travel so I've come to the Peak District somewhere I've never been before so I thought I'd choose a quiet hopefully a quiet place um, which I think I've, uh, I have done and I've come to Magpie Mines place I've never ever been probably not the perfect day for photography by any means might have been this morning I think we'd have got a cloud inversion at um, Castleton and around Oak Valley and that it certainly looks a little bit more misty and dramatic over there so um, I will head there go and have a little look later on uh, but so glad to be out. Oh, it's superb. Absolutely superb. What a beautiful morning. There's frost on the ground. Sunny, it's going to be a beautiful day. Uh, like I say, so thought I'd head up to the this morning, see if we can get some images maybe get the drone out and just enjoy the morning it is still early it's about eight o'clock in the morning um, there's the cattle bridge oh just great to see somewhere different I suppose there'll be 100 blogs out in the, over the weekend looking at different locations, but oh, it's great. I've come to, uh, before I've got here, there's a nice little image here, and I'm going to get it. I've got all day. Let me just call the dog. Cooper, come on. Cooper's already at the mine. Uh, but I think it's an image here, so I'm gonna get my camera out and see if we can get a see if we can get a shot. Right. First shot in the bag, don't know if it's gonna work, don't care. It's just a, a nice morning. I really honestly don't care. But I wish I'd have brought my gloves. Right, um let's get to the mine, which is 50 yards away. <laughs> Does look interesting beyond, beyond here. Very interesting. And the clouds are rolling in beyond, so maybe it's half hour here, then move on. Let's see. What I'm loving about this is there's been one other photographer who pulled up pretty much the same time as me, just after me, he's been and he's gone. I can understand why I ain't stopped around because it's such an harsh day to uh, to get a photo. Um, they're probably best in black and white. Um, so I'll do a colour in a black and white because of this pure blue sky that we got. But I'm going to stop here. I'm going to get the drone out. I'm going to embrace the place. Study it for a, a, another day when the mist is in or or something like that or sunrise should have got here for sunrise sunrise would have been absolutely stunning um just i just knew i weren't going to make a sunrise so it is what it is i just wanted to get out to somewhere new and this is beautiful and like i say now i've got the place to myself uh, well so definitely today isn't about the photography it's about the freedom it's about being able to come somewhere and not particularly worry too much and i'm loving it i'm loving it it's gonna be absolutely beautiful today <laughs> and i've still got that that bank of cloud in the distance there. i can see it bubbling up 
So I'm definitely going to head over there. I think that's sort of Kerber Edge way over that way, I think. I haven't got a clue, to be honest. I'm sure it's that way. Uh, so let's see if we can work this uh, this place. Let me just put that on video while I'm doing that. Bloody hell, battery exhausted on the Sony. Let's change the battery. <laughs> this is my first image. Uh, well, no, Tane, it's my second image because I'm not loading on. Uh, I think it's going to look lovely in black and white, to be honest. But what I'm thinking of is going over towards this little round hut here and uh, whatever it was, this outbuilding, and see if we can get that as sort of a foreground interest. Um, and see if it works from over here. I'm going to have a lot. I'm just going to go walk around it, to be honest. The reason why I've chosen this image is because we've just separated the stack, the chimney stack, from the actual the mine pit head. So uh, um, I think it was an old lead mine, I think. Looks like you'd think it was in on the corn, on Cornwall, on the, uh, well, the copper mines. That's what it looks like to me, anyway. Uh, We've got an old barn here, and the moon is just above it, very faintly in the sky. Uh, so we've got the tracks leaning down to the barn, which might be a nice image. But yeah, I'm going to go walk up here and see if we can uh, find some sort of composition from up here. I've come up to this part to try and separate this. I've basically got three buildings. I've got this first building, which is like a, a little outhouse. God knows what it'd be for. Um, you've got a small ruin building on the right hand side that's in shade. And then you've got the main mine and the, the uh, chimney there. The only thing I don't like is, is the sep is no separation from the chimney to the main building. The main, I'd assume it's like a pit head. Um, again, not sure what I'm talking about, so I could be totally wrong there. So I think what I'm going to do is I might have to forget this this front little shed building here and move around to the right hand side and see if I can just I just want to separate the chimney slightly, and I think it'll look a little bit nicer. So we'll um, we'll move over and see what we can get from just sort of this right hand side. Like I say, I, I wanna, the chimney is a real nice feature of it. And so if I can separate it, I'm sure it'll look a little bit better. Right, again, just tried another couple of images just as I move around to this right hand side. And what I've actually done is, the ground's so uneven and I assume it's where the, uh, the mind it and everything. And, uh, so it's got like all moguls and dips and, and things like that. And what it's done is it's created sort of this leaded line because part of it's in shadow and it's got a bit of frost on and it's leading you up to the mine here. So I've sort of took a couple of images, one sort of zoomed in a little bit, then I've come right out wide angle, uh, probably about 16 mil. And um, to get this sort of foreground leading line up to the to the, uh, the mine here, so uh, it might work. Again, probably, probably gonna be black and white because there's, in the sky there's, there's just no detail whatsoever. Um, but I think it'll still work well, uh, black and white. It'll probably work well in color because we've got that nice blue sky and we've got this nice green fields that's, like I say, that's so undulating and, and um, there's just potholes and God knows what, and then you've got the brick building, obviously, so it should make for a nice image still. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. We just need to, to work around it now, and uh, definitely got to get that drone out, and I'll, uh, I'll get the drone out, and we'll show you around it, I think, and then uh, see if we can work a few more images.
Okay guys, I think it's time for me to move on. I've, uh, I've gone around it a little bit, uh, showed you the area. It's definitely a place I'm gonna be coming back to. A very easy location, a very easy location to get to. And it's a two minute walk to the actual mine itself. A beautiful, beautiful location. But the reason why I wanna move on is I can see this banker cloud rolling in over the, the hills there so I'm going to head that way I'm just going to head that way and see where it takes me um, I'll probably just pull over somewhere and, and explore a bit but that it's looking so interesting over there uh, it is coming this way as well so uh, it could be interesting later on here but um, as much as I'm free um, we're never free, are we? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to move on. Um, probably just go another little walk around. I'll put any images that I've took up and uh, probably catch you guys on the next one. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to explore a little bit more. So, um, till the next video, thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. Hope you enjoy it. I'll catch you guys soon. Cheers, guys.